Sponsored by Bet365. The wait is finally over as the Wallabies take on England in the first test in Perth. Wallabies coach Dave Rennie has named two debutants for the clash, with Caden Neville and Dave Parecki set to start. Neville becomes the second oldest debutant since World War II, partnering Brumby's teammate Darcy Swain in the second row. Meanwhile, Parecki caps up his own remarkable journey, partnering Waratah's teammate Angus Bell and Brumby's tight head Alan Alato in the front row. There's a heavy Brumby influence in this squad, with 12 named in the match day 23, as Dave Rennie looks to shut down an imposing England pack and set piece. Japanese-based trio Quade Cooper, Samu Karebi and Marika Korobetti make their return after missing the spring tour. Cooper partners the experienced Nick White in the halves, while Samu Karevi reunites with Len Nikitao in the centres. Korobetti will slot back onto the wing alongside 2021 Rookie of the Year Andrew Callaway, with Tom Banks retaining his spot at fullback. As for the English, they've named Courtney Laws as captain, and slotting in to blindside flanker. This has shocked many, with Iron Fowl expected to retake the role as he comes back into the side from injury. When pressed on the issue, Jones admitted whilst Fowl was upset about not getting the captaincy, he believes it'll free him up and get him back to his best. The English will be looking to continue their recent run of success against the Lobbies, winning eight of their last clashes, getting tracking back to 2015. The English have named a formidable pack, with Jamie George joining props Ellis Genge and Will Stewart in the front row. The impressive Mara and Tojo and Johnny Hill are coming at lock, with Tom Curry at open side flanker. Curry is joined by Billy Vinopolo, who makes his first appearance for England since early 2021. There are three debutants on the bench for England, including former Sydney Uni and Brumbies product Guy Porter. You can catch every moment of Australia vs England live on Stan Sport and Channel 9. And if you are going to bet this weekend, please gamble responsibly.